Hello everyone. Alton Smith back in the shop again today. And I just finished up making this uh, final state Tesla coil here. And, uh, sort of wanted to do a video on it and everything where people can uh, get an idea about it. Uh, this is a Tom Blitch design. He created this. And, uh, it's a real nice call. Uh, interested to make. Uh, in fact, he actually sells the boards, the interrupters, uh, the MMC part. You can buy all the boards from him with no problem. Uh, he has the diagrams, which I have all the diagrams for the boards, parts listings, and everything for this thing. It's a, it's a real nice uh, Tesla call. It does uh, probably 18 inch arcs, about 20 inches. Uh, the primary is four and a half inches in diameter and it's 13 and a quarter inches of number 32 gauge wire. It uses a 10 inch toroid on it. I use uh, for the primary is uh, about eight and three quarter turns of uh, eighth inch uh, copper tubing. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's uh, eighth inch copper tubing. The strike rail is a quarter inch copper tube on it. There's two boards, total actually three. This is the actual logic board right here, the controlling board right here. This is the power board with the IGBTs on it. And uh, this is the uh, MMC board with, uh, that actually connects to the primary and everything. On my particular one, uh, I may change this compared to what he did. I use a 120 volt fan. I don't use a 12 volt fan. That way I don't have to have a 12 volt power supply in it. Uh, basically, I took a piece of four and a half inch PVC, or four inch IDs, four and a half inch. I buy the caps like this from Lowe's and cut them off to about three quarters of an inch. And I just clamp two of them together and just stick them in and whack it off on the chop saw in there. But uh, this is what I use for my tops and the bottoms, and this is what I use in my winding machine to run the rod through and hold everything. I find it easier than pieces of wood. You can actually buy these things. They're drain caps from Lowe's, Home Depot. Very good. You can get them for the four, the six, the three inch. Uh, I think you can get them all the way down to two inches if you want to use them. It's pretty much what I use all the time now. I basically, pretty much all I do is what I use that right there. We're fixing to design a new one of these, use bigger IGBTs. Uh, the next one's going to do four foot arcs on it. It's the IGBTs are about two and a half times the size of them. I think these are 300 in the other ones, I think he told me he found 800. So much stronger, much more power. Uh, secondary will be bigger, primary will be bigger. It has to take 12 inch toroid. That's a 10 inch toroid on this one. Uh, I strictly use a 120 volt fan on it uh, to cool it. This is actually, uh, well, that's my interrupter right there, but this is the boards itself that you get and you have to populate. Uh, it's a real nice uh, call. You can buy all the boards for the diagrams to build this thing. It's not hard to build. It's really simple. Uh, I will say this much, you, better, you need to have a good working knowledge of this time. If not, somebody you can get a hold of every day and talk to. Uh, me and him are pretty good friends and if I can talk to him once a week, I'm doing something. He works every day and don't come in the late. Not really getting into talking to a lot of people at night time. Uh, pretty much most of this circuit I have learned myself. Uh, it's uh, not that hard to do once you figure out everything, but the boards are not that hard to populate. You buy all the parts at Mauser. There's a complete breakdown of the parts for it and everything, so it's pretty simple. This particular coil uses secondary feedback and not primary feedback. 
this is your for your secondary feedback right there. There's about 50, 60 turns of wire on that. That goes to the ground wire underneath here, coming off your secondary. Uh, you do not use a breakout point with this thing. It strictly breaks out to itself. Real good. Uh, in fact, on this one, I can get probably 18, close to 20 inch arcs off of it. Real good. Uh, the, the coil itself it is not hard to build. It runs on about 5 amps of current. Uh, I think I said it when I did the setting of this. I tuned it to 4 and 3 quarter amps, I think it was, when I tuned the primary part and everything. Uh, when I did my primaries, I've been using Lexan and uh, all that, that stuff got to be such a pain to use, I quit using it. I found out I went and got masonite, and I cut the masonite on my table saw, fit slots, and uh, the masonite to me works much better than Lexan does. I won't say it looks as good, but uh, as far as ease of working with, it's a lot easier than Lexan or any of that other stuff out there to use. Any of that hard plastic stuff is hard to use. Uh, this stuff works real good right here that Masonite does. Uh, I think the coil itself took me, I think from the time I started with the wood parts of it and everything, and this is all oak, I think I spent about eight to ten days in here working on it. Uh, it was not hard to do. Uh, originally, I was having issues with my secondary. Ended up, I wasn't making the secondary quite big enough. I was doing 12 inch secondaries, and this thing needs to be 13 to 13 and a quarter inches in wire. Uh, I was using 12, and it just wasn't enough, and it was giving me arc problems into it, and even couldn't tune it right no matter what I did to I finally went to 13 and a quarter inches and it worked real good. Uh, pretty much everything you need to build one of these things, I've got all the information and I know Tom's got all the information so if somebody wanted to build one it's not hard to build. You just got to have a good working knowledge of doing it. I find it uh, in fact, this was, it's a real fun coil to build. Uh, it's uh, not hard. Puts out real good. To be, in fact, I was actually, this is my second one. I have another one up there that uh, was built. I actually connected them today. I got to do, I got to do a video on that one. I actually connected both of them together and run them both off of one controller. <laughs> That's pretty neat. You running two two Tesla coils off the one controller like they were dueling each other. But I'm fixing to do a video on this one running in a few minutes. It's going to be a separate video that I upload on YouTube for it all together. My first one I wanted to do was just a brief rundown of this thing. Uh, it, it's virtually you can get the three boards, you can get the controller board, the IBG board, the interrupter board, and the MMC boards to populate them and you're really good to go. Uh, you can buy the boards, Tom sells the boards, and uh, fill them in and go with it. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if he sells the boards uh, very much anymore completed or not. Probably going to buy the board blank and just uh, populate it yourself by the stuff from uh, Mauser. But this is a real nice design coil, real fun to use. Uh, I think people will like it. Uh, I will do the video in about probably the next 25 minutes. I will end up being posting both these videos on YouTube. So, uh, all that said and done, this is pretty much the guts of it. If you need any more information on it, you can email me at w5als at yahoo.com. I can send you the specs on it or pretty much probably tell you whatever you want or I can get you in touch with Tom, whichever one you want. Uh, it's a real fun thing to play with. Uh, just some nice arcs for a solid state call. So, uh, 
Thanks for 